welcome back to my channel, it's Lorena here. I wanted to finally do a handbag collection for you today. At first I really wasn't sure if I was going to make this video, but then I just decided that it's good for me to kind of keep track of what I have and um, kind of lay everything out to see what um, my future wish list should be incorporated. So um, yeah, let's get started. It's going to be a long video, so grab a cup of tea and or drink some coffee. It's going to be a lot. And also, I'm really sorry for the weird lighting. Uh, I'm still kind of working out. Yeah, there's like a line in my face. I'm still kind of working out the kinks on everything uh, to filming. So let's get started. I'm going to start with Louis Vuitton. Uh, the first bag is this bag right here. Uh, this is the Alma, or I'm sorry, the Alma, the No Way BB in Dami Azure. I made an unboxing video on this one, so go check it out if you haven't already seen it. I absolutely love this bag, and this kind of started the Dami Azure obsession for me. This is BB30 in the uh, monogram print. This one is just the classic version. I searched everywhere for this bag um, and I finally found one made in France so she's absolutely gorgeous. Good. And all of my bags for the speedies I use base shapers. That's how it kind of um, doesn't have that baggy bottom. Uh, Speedy B, Dame Azure, um, Speedy 30. And I use this without the longer extension just so I can wear it on my shoulder. Sorry if I'm cut off as well. So that's what this bag looks like. I'll do more in-depth videos if you want, just request it down below. I have a lot of bags to get through, I'm realizing now. So uh, there you go, CD30, Dami Azure with the bandolier strap. This is the Speedy 30 um, and I made a band. This is actually my first Speedy when one of the very first um, Lux pieces that I've ever owned and she's in absolutely perfect condition. Uh, the next bag is my Alma PM in the Amarant color leather so that's the patent leather this bag is surprisingly so durable I was really worried about it at first getting um, marks or scratches but it's really durable and it's so classy and gorgeous this is just classic Louis Vuitton right here so absolutely love that all right the next bag is the Alma another Alma PM this one is in the rose angelique color so this one is a light beige pink color very beautiful just for like school or work it just fits so many things and it's just so it's, it's so functional and also it's beautiful very well then I also have the never full mm in the monograph print this is the newer version so it doesn't have the Florida V pattern on the inside but I had to pick this up because it was made in France next bag is the bag I'm currently using I use her all week it is my Lady Dior in the small size with the silver hardware. I have a video on this bag which is really bad quality as well, but if you want to take a look at what fits in it and the dimensions, I have a video on that. So there she is, pristine and beautiful as ever. Next bag, it's not really a luxe bag, but it's kind of what started this whole obsession. Some of you know um, Sha Shui, she's a Singaporean blogger. I've been reading her since like 2006 or 2007. Um, and she really liked this Japanese brand called Samantha Savasa. And uh, for my birthday, he remembered that somehow and got me this bag. It actually comes with two. Um, it comes with like this little wristlet. And it has all patterned white hearts on it. And this tote. And it's so cute. It's a baby blue on the inside. So I'm always going to keep this bag. Uh, the next bag is my black small Givenchy Antigona in the small size with the pale gold hardware. And this is in the smooth uh, 
uh, calfskin leather. I absolutely love this bag. This was my first uh, YouTube video as a what's in my bag on this, on this and it's um, it's just such a great everyday work bag and it fits everything in there. Very sturdy and hearty. Absolutely love her. We'll go on to Prada. I have this tiny, um, I don't, I think this is the mini uh, double zip Graffiano bag in the Orchidia pink color. That's the shoulder strap as well. Very beautiful. Next bag is a large, uh, I believe it's actually the medium in EN. 272714 or I apologize if I don't get the numbers right but it's the largest medium size uh, with the double zip that comes with the uh, shoulder strap as well. I keep all of my bag stuff to keep the shape but uh, this is in the Argilla color or Argia. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get this bag because I couldn't find this color anymore. But my boyfriend surprised me with it for my birthday a couple, um, maybe a year or two ago. The very first Prada bag that I ever bought in the beautiful uh, beauty blush toned color. I believe this one is called, hmm, the name is escaping me right now. Let me take a look. Cameo. <laughs> this is in the Cameo or Cameo color. This one actually isn't the double zip, it's the one that has the middle zip in the middle, also has the uh, shoulder strap, but I love this bag, I'm always going to have this bag. I know they say Prada has a lot of problems with um, kind of the, the glazing and just like the structure of it, but I haven't had any problems, it's like in absolutely pristine condition, and I do wear this bag a lot. So there's that bag. As you can see as well, I, I really like top handle bags. And next I have this cutie. This is the Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo um, Marisol bag. And it's just like the cutest little, it's like a little mini briefcase. Um, and it's quite thin as well. Kind of like the Ferragamo's version of the... Louis Vuitton, um, I forgot what it was called, like a push, push it, or <laughs> I forgot, but um, yeah, I really love this bag, and you open it like this, and on the inside it just has a beautiful nude color, and then also like the zip and the hardware is just so beautiful, so I really like this bag. Next is my uh, very well-loved Gucci Soho Disco bag in the patent pink color. Uh, this one's like a fuchsia color. This bag has seen better days um, out of all my bags, I would say this was the most worn because this was the only bag that I took when I went to New York. So it kind of has some slight uh, color transfer from jeans, but it fits so lip gloss in my hair. Uh, it fits so many things inside of it and it's really perfect for traveling um, as a crossbody. And I just really like the tassel. That bag also came with the um, little pochette. So I carried this a couple of times. It has just a little strap that you can attach for your, like as a wristlet. But that's a really great value to have this because you can definitely carry a lot of things in there and you can get just chic kind of on the go just carrying this. Next couple of bags I have to show you are my Balenciaga City bags. I have two of them and I've also made a comparison video and uh, just a review on these, these two bags. They are one of my favorite casual everyday bags and they're just, um, you know, very chic and cool and you know, there's no logos on it so you don't have to be like cautious, I guess, when you're walking around. But 
Then after that, I have a couple of random bags that um, are not, I guess, as name brand or whatever, but they're still a part of my collection. So I'll go ahead and start with one of my favorites. This is my Furla, um, I believe it's called the Mediterranean bag. This is in Sassiano. I carry this to work a lot and it's just like a pop of color. So it's kind of like in, in between. Right now the color is looking more blue on the camera, but it is like an in-between of a blue and a purple. This Diane von Furstenberg bag, uh, this is in deer leather, I believe, and it's like a off-white color. I haven't really used this bag that much, but um, I still keep it in my collection just because it's actually really well made. I love how she really thought about the features. So, so um, for example, you unclip this, but all of the, the bag has like magnetic and I don't know, it's just really functional. And uh, I like this crossbody option as well, or this longer strap. And then you have this hand carry option. And this is like the hobo. I forgot what this bag is called. I think it's called the Sutra bag, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then I have my one and only remaining Tory Burch bag. Uh, this one is the, I believe the Riva Clutch. This one is in a powder blue uh, with the Tory Burch logo there in gold. And I don't wear this bag a lot, but I just really like the color. a couple of Longchamp bags. Um, I have this tiny one in the eggplant color. This is in the small size. Um, and yeah, it's just good to pack this like when you're traveling so you can uh, have another extra bag if you need extra things. And these uh, um, Longchamp Le Pliage totes carry so much inside of them. So that's very good. Then I have Two of the large ones as well. I always carry these when I'm traveling. Um, one in the beige color and one in the red color. And you've all seen this, but it's like the large version. So I'll put those away. And then I also have this, it's like the overnight bag version. So I have that. And then I also have this Alexander Wing clutch. Uh, in the rose gold with black lambskin leather so it's just a good uh, little clutch to have for like nights out and just like easy to carry and fuss free so I have that clutch and then lastly I'll go to my Chanel collection um, I have this bag it's the medium large classic double flap in the lambskin color, black uh, black lambskin. I've done a video on this, so uh, check that out. It's actually a comparison video with my small one, which you'll see in a second. This beautiful patent pink, also in the medium, uh, medium large size with silver hardware. This is one of my newest bags, and she's absolutely gorgeous. I haven't had a chance to use her yet. Then my next bag is the smaller version of the um, double flat bag. I have a video on this as well. This one is in the silver hardware, so take a look at that and if you want to know more about this bag. Next is my beloved beige PST. Uh, this is a discontinued bag and I absolutely love it. I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. and. The cool thing about it too is that it was made in France, which I know a lot of the GSTs and PSTs are, are made in Italy, but this bag surprisingly fits so much as well, and it's just like a cute, everyday, very ladylike bag. So there's that. This one is in the caviar. And last but not least is my holy grail bag. It's this vintage um, single flap jumbo with the gold hardware, the 24 karat or 18 karat, I'm not sure, uh, gold plated hardware 
and this is like my dream bag i have a unboxing on this as well so go check that out if you haven't already but i absolutely love this bag and this is gonna be a keeper forever so i think that so I think that's all my entire collection as of right now. It's getting dark, so I'm so sorry if the lighting is weird. Um, a couple of things on my wish list is definitely more Dior. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessing over Dior right now, either the Diorama or another Lady Dior in a pop of color, maybe with gold hardware. I also love Del Bo and of course Hermes, maybe someday as a, um, the Kelly bag. And, um, uh, maybe a Chanel, Chanel Jumbo in a uh, color like a red or uh, yeah, something something just I guess more more fun colors for me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below if you uh, have any suggestions on, on what I should film next or also just what you think of the collection, what do you think I need next and maybe what was your favorite bag out of the collection uh, thank you so much to all of my new subscribers as well um, i've really been enjoying youtube and uh, i just really appreciative of all of your support so with that i'll end it here thank you so much i hope you enjoy the rest of your day bye